We then simply click the 2.5 Brain Master icon. And our setup home screen for Brain Master 2.5 SE appears. Taking a quick moment to look at this screen, you notice I've already been logged in. But if this is your first installation of the hardware and you're just entering the software for the first time, more than likely your login says OK in basic. To get properly logged in, we click the Login to Brain Master button. We then get a control screen that says Login to Brain Master. Under serial number, you may see the word basic. You want to swipe over basic, enter the serial number of your Brain Master device. Mine happens to be 30009. And then you have a 12 digit pass key. Please enter that pass key into the pass key field. Directly below that, we have a check mark for remember pass key. This is um, wise to use so that you can log in one time and not have to do this procedure over and over as you come into the software. Down below that, we have some optional personal information. The advantage of using these two fields is the name will mark in the report you print for your clients. It will use your name as the clinician. And the email, if you use the remote session librarian feature, it will automatically put your email as the default as your client returns the progress reports to you via email. Down below that, we have a login notes. This is often used if a client has more than one Brain Master so that if the hardware is floating cubicle to cubicle or room to room, they can simply save all of their pass keys in this format. They can then simply copy and paste the pass key for the login screen so that they're not searching for a pass key. If you do make a change or you add one, just always remember to go to the file save so it records the save for the pass key. We can then simply close out of that. As I click the OK box in the Login to Brain Master screen, I'm going to get a permissions box. You notice as we look down this, it's going to tell me what this pass key, pass key enables me to do. It says Login OK, serial number, 30009, unlimited use, clinical license. It shows you the different permissions. EEG audio is enabled, release 2.5 is enabled, and so on. I simply click OK. Now we're logged in and ready to proceed.